This is Aaron Schwartzbart, driver of Motor Gospel Ministries John 316 race car, and I'm excited today to be here at Irwindale Drag Strip for Motor Gospel's Beat the Heat program. LAPD Deputy Chief Al Labrada is going to be competing in Motor Gospel Ministries Cadet Race Team car. I'm Al Labrada with LAPD Operations Central Bureau. I'm really happy to be here with Aaron for a good awareness piece and a chance to get on the track to talk about street safety. I think it's an important opportunity for us to highlight the importance of safety and then also raise some awareness of the dangers that it causes. Goal here, as you can hear from the vehicles in the background, uh, they're gonna do an eighth of a mile race against the deputy chief. For me, it's an opportunity to race a car and to help the kids. There's a great youth group here that Aaron's been working with. We're going to have a crew who is going to consist of cadets from LAPD's Rampart Division. So our cadets are our youth volunteers that work at our station. They come out, they help us at the station. Motor Gospel Ministries has been offering our after school auto shop club at LAPD Rampart Station. So it kind of provides them an incentive to keep a good grade. We're teaching them after school auto shop at Rampart Division. Captain Al Lopez, Sergeant Marcelo Garcia, we're innovative in building bridges with the community. For the first time ever, Motor Gospel Ministries is going to be sponsoring an award, the Motor Gospel RT Shootout Award. Aaron Schwartzbart, a former stock car racer, his organization helps young drivers with a need for speed to get off the streets. The courts are sending people to us on alternative sentencing. People that don't necessarily have deliberately nefarious motives because they're 17 years old and they want to be race car drivers. One of my goals is to try and stop people from doing it before they do it. Five of the most recent street racing related fatalities were within 30 minutes of the nearest legal racing venue. It sounds like there's plenty of opportunity for them to come legally, get that adrenaline out. The lack of opportunity is not the reason people are dying. The lack of facilities is not the reason people are dying. It's a lack of awareness. We see a lot of deaths with our youth. It's a lot of families affected by street racing. It's a lack of having guys like me come along that were homicidal maniacs with the steering wheel 30 years ago, showing them the right way to do it. There's a lot of opportunities for these youth to come to these events in a controlled environment, in a safe environment. Right now, the vehicles are getting prepared for the track. They do a little checklist. I'm here with Captain Al Lopez, without whom none of this stuff would have happened. He's demonstrated a lot of bold innovation in building bridges between the LAPD and the community of Los Angeles, the people of Los Angeles. I'm a partner with Motor Gospel and Aaron and with everything he does. Folks like Al Lopez and myself, we've been doing this kind of thing in the community for decades. Bring it to the track. It's the eighth mile. It's only 40 bucks. You can race your car. One of the very, very cool fruits of our efforts is the fact that where we started off with a group of cadets that knew nothing about race cars, they didn't know how to change oil, they didn't know what a spark plug was. Well, they've learned a thing or two. They have graduated to the point where they are now the crew for Deputy Chief Labrada's debut here at the racetrack. What have you learned so far from being part of Motor Gospel Ministries After School Auto Shop? I've learned so much. We put a heavy emphasis on club. We never know when we do the Motor Gospel After School Auto Shop Club, we never know whether we're meeting young people that are going to become automotive professionals one day. Uh, I've always had like a fascination for cars. It's always something that sort of grabbed my attention. They're going to be going through tech. So now this is tech inspection. The tech inspector is looking at the car. He's looking to make sure everything's safe on the car, see if anything needs to be adjusted or changed before any of the officers can drive it. And then he's tagging it with a number that corresponds to each officer that's going to drive. How you feeling, Chief? Excited. We're getting the car inspected and we should be going pretty soon. And so if there's anything you don't like, you see anything you want to discuss, this is the crew. This is the cadets from LAPD Rampart Division. We are about to welcome Deputy Chief of LAPD with Motor Gospel Ministries. I'm really excited. We've been looking forward to this for months. We're here to uh, educate our youth and to show them that you can do this safely. Congratulations on winning the inaugural Motor Gospel Ministries RT Shootout Award. Thank you very much for this acknowledgement. And the 20 years of service that you've given to educating and prevention of that, we really thank you and we're grateful for all you do in this community. God bless you. I also want to acknowledge the great work of our Rampart officers and civilian staff here, cadets for the work they do, as well as being my pit crew. Keep up the great work, sir. If our program has saved any lives, we have you to thank for it. Uh, Motor Gospel has come in and they have helped us with the issue that has plagued the city of Los Angeles with street racing. When you look at how you partner with different organizations, 
and now partnering with Rampart Division and really working with these young future leaders. Aaron, thank you for this relationship. Thank you for being part of the family and thank you for helping the kids of Rampart. We're here with Deputy Chief Labrada from LAPD, Rodrigo Jimenez from CHP, Sergeant Jesse Garcia from Central Traffic Division, SRT, Street Racing Task Force. We come together as a community, and the community is not just the residents, it's also law enforcement, coming together for a common cause. Sergeant Garcia with the SRT is around fast cars all the time. This is an option out here. Take it to the track. We encourage it. We advocate it. We support it. Hey, come out and race, but do it on a racetrack somewhere where it's safe and people aren't going to get hurt. What I really want to acknowledge is the work of these gentlemen and their teams of what they do to make our streets safer. Thank you, gentlemen, for your support of this important program. Together we may save a life. The Los Angeles Police Department, the California Highway Patrol, and the Los Angeles Sheriff's Department are united with Motor Gospel Ministries in our common goal of seeing young people make it to adulthood without killing themselves or anybody else behind the wheel.